Hi guys, so this is a declutter part. So I said the last one was part three, but this one's actually part three. <laughs> that one was part two. I just combined two of them because it was only like eight minutes, so I combined it. So this is some hair products, um, some more face palettes, and some highlighters. Um, once again, I'm moving, so I'm just going to be taking things that spark joy. I'm going through the KonMari method, uh, which means that if I either haven't used it or it doesn't spark joy, I just get rid of it no matter the cost or sell it. Um, so I will be selling a lot of these items that are able to be sold or donating them. So I'm just going to jump right in with the product. I am decluttering. So this is declutter, by the way. And please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. So I'm going to be decluttering this to wear face palette. This is the champagne and macaroons face palette. It's okay. I had really high expectations for it. Um, just a bit um, chalky for my liking. Just don't really use it as much as I thought that I would. And I don't even think anybody even wants this because I did use this a decent amount, but it's been pretty beaten up. So uh, two blushes, a highlighter, a contour, um, just pretty chalky. So I saw this on sale at Sephora for super cheap. So I guess the consensus is on my side here that it's just overrated. So pretty disappointed in this palette. And I haven't look, really liked a lot of Joair face products, except for, um, I don't like their face palettes. I like their actual individual products, but their face palettes are pretty disappointing. This is my second, second, um, face pro face palette. I'm decluttering. I've declared their blush palette and now I've declared this. So I've learned my lesson at this point. So I will be decluttering this when the declutter pile is. So the next product is this blush palette, which is so hard for me to declutter. But I really don't use it. This is a Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush palette. I just, I've talked about this before and some regrets. Um, this is just too light for me and it's just okay. I really just love the packaging. So I really don't reach for it. So I will be decluttering this. I've already decluttered two face uh, palettes right here. Put that in the declutter and bucket. Okay. Next is a blush palette that I'll be keeping. This is a Scott Parnes blush palette. I love this. I love this these two shades right here, Mango Fizz and Rosé. Love it. And I do like these highlighters. They've grown on me. So love the Scott Barnes palettes. And I want to try more of his products. I want to try his um, eyeshadow palettes. I heard they're really good and super, super nice. So next is a product I'm decluttering. This is the iconic London highlighter. I've talked about this. Honestly, I just don't really reach for it. It's really, really big. It takes up a lot of room. I think it's really pretty, but I just... I don't know. I think it's overrated and it's really expensive. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this and I just don't reach for it. So I will be possibly selling. Um, the packaging is kind of broken. It came broken. It doesn't close fully. So um, yeah, so this one I'll be selling possibly or just donating. Not really sure at this point. Next is this Rare Beauty lip gloss. I just got this. So I'll be keeping this. I just purchased another one that's more pinky shade. I really like this formula. So keeping that, um, I will be keeping this. I need a glow. I need a nude glow from Natasha Denona. It is hard pressed. I've talked about that, but I do think that it's super, super pretty and I do enjoy it. So I'll be keeping that for now. Next is a powder I will be decluttering, which is really sad to say. It's the Gucci powder. So I really like the packaging, but as you can see, it's like gone bad or something. Like it's like hard pressed. It's so hard. It's so, so pretty. And it's nothing like the Gucci bronzer, which I will 100% be keeping. Just saying like, it's just, I think it breaks me out, honestly. So I'll be decluttering this. And as you can see, the formula like went bad. So I will be decluttering that. So that's going in this pile. And I'm definitely keeping this bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers of all time and encouraged me to buy more Gucci products, which did not live up to this bronzer. And this is in the shade three focus. I think I can focus. Yeah, it's in the shade three. So next is this hydrate primer from Makeup Revolution. I'll be keeping this. I just got this and it is very nice and hydrating. So I'll be keeping that. Next is the Blow and Smoke palette from ColourPop. I'll be decluttering this. I didn't feature this in my eyeshadow palette declutter, which is upsetting. Um, it's kind of just like was stuck in this whole pile. So I'll be decluttering this. This is my second time buying it. 
I don't really use it. I feel like the packaging's really clunky. Um, as you can see, barely touched. So we'll be decluttering that. It's just a one trick pony. Next is this boring eyelash um, comb from Walmart. I just used it so many times. I think it's kind of gross to keep it. I might as well just purchase another one. As you can see, it got pretty gunky, so I'll be throwing that out. Next is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio, an Italian summer, 100% keeping this. This is my all-time favorite trio. Such good quality. Amazing. So I love it. Next is this gold iconic London Illuminator. I actually have this in original as well. So I can't find it at the moment. Well, I'm going to be declaring this one because I use the original one, but I don't really use this gold one too much. I feel like it's going bad. Let me smell it real quick and decide if it's gone bad. Yeah, it's it's still good, so I probably will sell it. But honestly, it's only good when I'm tan versus the original I love. But it's a great formula. The original is right in front of my face. <laughs> this is the original. I like this one for my actual skin tone. Love it. Also, actually, you can see that I've used a lot of it. So I'm going to put this in my shop, my stash bucket over here. Next is a palette I am decluttering because I have two of these. It's a Park Avenue Princess. I just can't take the hard pressed, which isn't my favorite shade, the banana shade. And this is just getting really old at this point. I have two other ones, and, but it is my favorite. Hopefully it's still in production. Let me know if this is a edition or not, because I love this uh, banana shade. But I feel like I need to find one that stands alone and not have this huge palette in my life. So... Next is Iconic London Radiance Booster. I have this in the shade Honey Glow. I will definitely be keeping this. I'm almost out of it, actually. I don't know if I would purchase because it's really expensive, and I feel like there's better options out there, but look how much I've already used of it. So I don't know. I will definitely use this up and make a final decision, but definitely not decluttering, obviously. So next is this palette from Viseart. I just got this in. This is the Later de Amour Paris. I like the packaging more than the original. This year, which I've already decluttered those. So this one came broken, which is really disappointing. But actually, I really, really love these browns. And I am going to be keeping this for now. Let's see if I actually use it because it did come broken and I did get a refund on it. But um, the browns are really, really nice in this one. And I do like the packaging. So I'll be keeping this for now. Definitely keeping my Juvia's Place Blush Palette, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I always use this palette. Like, I love it so, so much. It's so amazing quality. And I love it so, so much. That's all I have to say about that. Definitely keeping the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have like three of these. It's like my favorite. So this one's not even opened. I think it's like $10 for this whole bottle. So great. Um, definitely keeping this eyebrow pencil from NYX. I talk about this all the time. This is the Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I got this for like $2 off of Amazon. Such a good deal. My favorite brow pencil of all time. Definitely keeping this Pat McGrath um, eyeliner. This is in the brown shade. It's just, a, I mean, it's, I just feel like it's good to just have eyeliners around. Would I pay full price for this again? No. Um, it is creamy though. So it's a brown pencil. Nothing really exciting. Too super overpriced, but it is good quality and I'll just keep it, use it up and call it a day. Definitely keeping this Aesthetica. Look, at it already came off. This is like a really good contour powder, TBH. It's like the perfect shade for contour powder. It's like a, has a gray undertone. I got this in Ipsy Box. It's from the brand Aesthetica, even though you can't see it. What shade? Yeah, it's a Sunset Bronzer. This is a amazing contour powder if you have um, light to medium skin like I do or an all skin tone, definitely recommend. And 100% keeping my makeup by Mario bronzer this is such a unique shade it's in light medium i love this so so much it's amazing love this so so much it's such a unique uh color because it can be a bronzer and it can be a contour so this is really 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 good i love this let's see next are some more products i'm keeping i'm going to be keeping this brush from practic this is their concealer brush i love this brush so so much needs to be clean though definitely keeping this sponge from Amazon. I love it. It's not too dirty. I'll be keeping it. Keeping my favorite eyelash glue. This is the Kiss Strip Lash <laughs> Adhesive. Um, this is the only one I will use. It's absolutely amazing. So you can not get enough of these. Um, next is this 
lip liner from LA Girl Shockwave nude lip liner. I don't know why it's not focusing. This is in the shade Coquette. So I love this. It is just a sharpener one, like you have to sharpen it, but it's pretty creamy. So I'm going to sharpen this and use it. So I'm, I'm in between using these two concealers. I'm going to have to think about these because they're just okay. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. And I'm going to have to think about the Fit Me Maybelline. It's just not that great. So, I mean, but it's hard for me to give up because they're just like, okay, but not bad. So I'll have to think about that. But leaning towards decluttering these. Definitely keeping my Shiseido Concealer. I'm actually going to put this in my shop, my stash, because it gets lost. It's so small. I have it in the shade uh light so yeah i'm gonna use this up but it always gets lost because it's so small it's so small um i love this concealer i do not like the foundation because if you have dry skin i 100 percent recommend it if you have oily skin i would stay away from the foundation maybe like oil slick but i have dry under eyes so this is why it's great for me definitely keeping these brushes this is the shader brush from sonia g Definitely keeping this one from Sonia G as well. Love this. These two brushes. So, so nice. Another Costa's Airbrow. Love this so, so much. I have two of them. Obviously, I love them. So, amazing. My favorite eyebrow gel. Another eyeliner. This one from Clinique. It's just in black. So, nothing fancy. But I love having eyeliners around. Next, I have another eyeliner from CoverGirl. Nothing special. Just keeping it because it's an eyeliner that's decent. I definitely recommend just getting drugstore eyeliners because they work just fine. Next is this Ordinary Primer. Love this one. The Hide Here in Silicon Primer. I've just got this and I'm loving it so far. Next is these lashes from Amazon. I'm hoping to use this up before I move, but I really, really like this. Um, decent quality and just have to cut them a little bit, but... I think I'm going to use this up before I go. This is going in my shop, my stash. Definitely keeping this palette from Rare Beauty. I just got this. It's Confident Energy. It's so, so beautiful. Beautiful jewel tones. So beautiful. Amazing. I can't wait to use more of this. Definitely keeping my Lash Blast clean. I have like so many of these. My favorite mascara. Definitely keeping this comb from Ulta. I'm, I'm talking about everything in this declutter, guys. Love this. I only have like two combs, Dyson in this one, and it's all I need. I'm going to be decluttering this Fix Plus Coconut. I just really don't use Fix Plus, to be honest, guys. I have my Charlotte Tilbury, and that's all I need. Like, I've had this forever. It's probably bad at this point. So I'll be decluttering this. Next, I'm going to be decluttering this Too Faced highlighter. It's a Fancy Time Diamond. I just bought it for the packaging, and it's just not that great. It's a mirror. And yeah, it's just an average highlighter. So I will be decluttering this, but the packaging is super cute, but I'm not keeping things just for the packaging. That's what I'm telling to myself. So definitely decluttering that. This is the dry shampoo I got from Dollar Store. It's called Root Low End. Um, not the biggest fan of dry shampoo, but I'm going to use this up and it's almost out. So yeah, it's um pretty decent. So uh, I really like the Batiste dry shampoo. I think that one is the best one. I uh, don't really like to use too much dry shampoo because it tends to gunk up my hair. So I really use this on the last minute resort. It's almost out. Next is a product I'm also decluttering. This is the Clarins um, Irradiance Plus. This is like so I can tan my face and I just mix, you just mix it in with a moisturizer. I'm almost out of this. Um, it's really expensive and I probably will not repurchase this. So I'm going to be decluttering this. And so next is a product I'll be keeping. Love the Drunk Elephant Night Serum. This is so good if you have acne. Really expensive, but super awesome. I will be decluttering this little eye cream I got from Ipsy. I have the eye creams that I love, like the Belief one and um, the Dermalogica Stress Relief one. So yeah, I'm going to be decluttering. I'll, I'll know what brand this is. It is a Tear Mars... Variance eye contour. I don't know. I have my trusty eye cream, so tossing this one out. Definitely keeping my Saint Tropez three hour tan. Oh, advanced one hour tan, self tan express. This is my favorite self tanner of all time. 
definitely keeping so salt. This is amazing. Um, I use this self tan and uh, makes you tan within like three hours max. I'm going to be keeping this texturizing spray from Chi. So what I keep to my bangs in place and I really, really like it actually. And my hairstylist recommended it. So it's super nice. Another highlighter brush that I love. This is, I have two of these, so I might declutter this one. I do have two of these. Yeah, I'm probably going to do this. I don't need two of the same brush. This is from CC. I don't never, I don't know the brand of these, but I don't need two of these to be honest. Next is the brush bath from It Cosmetics. I thought it was going to be like a substitute for the spray, but it is not my favorite at all. Like I just, I feel like it's unhygienic. I'm not loving, I'll use it up, but I don't know. I feel like I might declutter it because I think it's causing me to break out, to be honest. It's just not hygienic like the sprays are. Yeah, this is not a good product at all. I really prefer the spray. The spray is my favorite, the brush bath spray. It's my favorite next to, it's my second favorite compared to the Cinema Secret. I have that right here. This is my number one. This one smells better, the um, the spray of this, but I don't think it works as well as this one. And this one's cheaper. Um, but yeah, this is, I think this is breaking me out. So I'm going to be decluttering this. And I have another eyelash glue. This is from Kiss. Once again, I will be keeping that. So hope you guys enjoyed this really random makeup, uh, beauty product, hair declutter. I have more of these coming. So please like and subscribe if you're enjoying these. And I love you guys so, so much. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to declutter with me. And yeah, I just keep going and going. <laughs> Bye guys.